Haddonfield, New Jersey celebrated the 150th anniversary of the discovery of Hadrosaurus foci on October 18, 2008. The Camden County Borough installed a bronze sculpture to commemorate the famous dinosaur fossil back in 2003. It sits at the center of town in a street-wide walkway that has long been known as Lantern Lane. But as part of the 150th ceremony, the name was changed. The event drew a large crowd who were treated to trays of cookies shaped like dinosaurs, sort of. Philadelphia's Academy of Natural Sciences set up a display table of dinosaur fossil bones and urged youngsters and adults alike to see them up close and personal. The Academy was promoting its soon-to-be-open new exhibit on Hadrosaurus foci. Hatch, the local dinosaur committee that organized the whole thing, was offering all manner of products celebrating the animal. There was also music. The Children's Song Choir of New Jersey was on hand and in voice in front of the towering dinosaur sculpture. Meanwhile, sculptor John Giannotti, who created the bronze beast, belted out a hastily written tune about fossil hunting. Well, did you ever think you'd find a shell on a mountain top? Or tropical plants where it's never really hot? And then, the official stuff got underway. My name's Michael Wilson. I'm the principal down the street at the high school. This is a really a cool place to be. And it's kind of really nice to be here today. I was invited a few weeks ago to be here. Today is a different kind of a, a birthday celebration. It's one that's recognized all over the world because the finding of our friend Hattie changed the way we view the world. Thank you, Mr. Wilson. That was a great history lesson for us about how Hattie got here. I just want to recognize the two chairmen of our Hatch Committee. You know, five years ago, we put Hattie here on Kings Highway. Mr. Giannotti worked for months and months and made Hattie a reality for us. And he invited children into his barn and they got to put clay on Hattie. And my grandchildren can show you today exactly where they helped build this dinosaur. But today, I want to thank Lee Albright and Lisa Quancy. Please hold your hands up. They are our new chairman of Hatch, and they're responsible for this great birthday party. This is a special occasion. I have a long thing called a proclamation that we always read when we're going to do something special. But you know what? You don't really want to hear that. We just want to know that we are so grateful for this beautiful space for these beautiful plantings that, by the way, boys and girls, all these plantings were actually around when Hattie was on the earth all those millions of years ago. Mr. Masulo chose these especially because they were typical of the plant life when Hattie was a dinosaur all those years ago. And another thing we're going to do today, so we thought if this is a very special place for Lantern Lane, then what we really need is a more special place for who? For Hattie. So we're gonna change that name today. And at this time, I'm going to unveil the new name of this lane right over here, if you'll just bear with me. The new name, Hadrosaurus Lane, takes over from Lantern Lane. So we're sure that in a few days, this is gonna become Hattie Lane. And I think we have a special way to introduce Hattie Lane at this time. Mr. Giannotti? Hattie Lane is in my ears and in my eyes. Everybody. There beneath the blue Haddonfield skies. Meanwhile, back on Hattie Lane, there is the mayor always dressed in red, <laughs> smiling proudly at the children passing by. And Hattie looks down from up high with a twinkle in her eye. Hattie's happy because she's been gone for 70 million years Lying low in the marl pit in the mud And then she finally saw the light of day And she's here to stay Hooray, hooray Hattie Lane is in my ears and in my eyes I think, uh, Mr. Wilson, do we have some winners of a contest? I know uh, there was a contest about the dinosaur, and Mr. Wilson would now like to name the winners. Well, one thing about our kids in Haddonfield is they love to write. And third graders from all the schools in Haddonfield were asked to write, invited to write, an essay that would basically describe Hattie's trip from the Marl Pit over by Maple over to here at Hattie Lane. 
What I'd like to do is to, we had well over, by the way, 100 third graders from across Haddonfield participate. I think it's absolutely fantastic. What I'd like to do is announce three winners from the third grade essay contest. First, I'd like to invite up Seamus Glennon. Seamus, are you here? Seamus represents the kids from Tatum School. Let's hear it for Tatum. Our next winner, third grade essay contest is Mara Enright. Mara? Mara represents the kids from Lizzie Hatt. And our third first place winner is a third grader at Lizzie Haddon as well, Joseph D. Simone. I'm going to ask my three excellent writers to join, to help lead me and all of us. You know what you have to do at a birthday party, right? If you can just move back a little bit, we're going to cut the cake, and if you can get in a line, we're going to give everybody a piece of cake, so just form a line, but leave a little room, and they're going to get the cake all cut, and everybody's going to get a taste of birthday cake. Uh, that concludes our ceremonies today, moms and dads and boys and girls. We hope you'll visit Hadrosaurus Lane often. Stop and say hello to Hattie, and uh, we are so privileged to have Hattie here in our town and so happy to have all of you living here. Thank you very much for coming to the birthday party. Thank you.